So this is the Lingo XE, and I'm gonna talk about all the voltages you should see on the transition board for easy troubleshooting and diagnostics of the problems that you may see with this guy. So on the far right hand side, I have 24 VAC. Now this is a 40 VA powered requirement transformer I'll need for this guy. To the side of him, I've got a fault relay. All that is is a normally open relay. When this Lingo XE is in normal operation, he holds that closed, and if he fails for any reason, that relay just fails open. The other end of that signal will be another control system that can report for this guy because he's apparently got no power. That's why the relay failed open. To the side of that, I've got three digital inputs. Now part of this Lingo XE's responsibility is to take 24 VAC and convert that to five volt DC. So each of these positive terminals is a five volt DC power source. So if I use that wire, I will send five volts DC out that wire to that device a phase loss, a side emergency, or a pulse meter, those will go closed and send that five volts back to my Lingo XE. So if I put my meter across those two terminals and I do not see five volts, that means I've got a contact closure. Now the phase loss, the Lingo XE will simply shut off all rooftop units. During a site emergency, we will shut off all rooftop units and turn on all the parking lot lights and interior lights. And the demand meter, that simply just tells us how much electricity this site is con consuming. To the left of that, I've got three analog inputs. Again, this Lingo XE's responsibility is to take 24 VAC and convert it to 24 volt DC. So each of these positive terminals here for my analog inputs is a 24 volt DC power source. We use that for our 4 to 20 milliamp loop powered sensor, the outdoor light, the outdoor temp, and the outdoor humidity. We just simply use that for any logical control for indoor HVAC or exterior parking lot lights for the outdoor light sensor. To the far left side of that is my module COM ports. I happen to have four of them in the Lingo XE. The two to three volts DC we talked about before is required when I have 24 VAC and no wires attached. I will see that two to three volts DC here again between positive and shield and negative and shield. And he uses that for all the modules under his logical control, whether that's HVAC modules manufactured by Novar, lighting modules. And then to the right of that, I have a COM port called LAN. That local area network is for executive controllers just like another Lingo, or maybe a refrigeration controller, that they can report their alarms through this Lingo. He becomes the gateway, so we can report those alarms to a central alarm office somewhere. 